Lila, where you at? I'm right here. Oh. Did you lose me? I'm sitting on the couch next to you. I can't see out of this helmet. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> Speaking of problems, what do we want to talk about? Oh, gosh. We're tackling a beast today. Um, we're going to talk about the SCA and it being a meritocracy. <laughs> Girl, the SCA ain't no meritocracy. What you talking about? I know. I know. The thing is, the idea is that it's an honor-based meritocracy. And that's a really nice idea, but unfortunately, the system's really broken. The system is broken. And now, I'm not saying that people who have awards don't deserve them. There's lots of people with lots of awards that definitely deserve them. Absolutely. Like... Gosh, anybody with a pelican. Anybody with a pelican. They bled for that shit. Yeah, you have to work yourself just to the bone for that. And uh, honestly, I think a lot of people who get pelicans should have had them a lot earlier. Yeah. But hey, that that's not my basket to vote in. Yeah. Point being, there are still plenty of awards that are handed out that people may not deserve. But what we're really going to focus on more is about... The fact that there's lots of people running around who do, do deserve rewards, but nothing's being skated their way. Yeah. And I think that that can boil down to a couple of things. Um, the biggest one being lack of visibility on their part. Yeah. And that, honestly, that is a failure of their friends. If hmm. you are doing a shitload of work behind the scenes and nobody's said anything on your behalf your friends failed you at that point oh so like when you're sitting in a household and there's letter writing campaigns going on to get everyone in the household at least in AOA and you watch literally everyone else walking up to get that award but there ain't nothing on that table for you it just got dark in here Oh, I'm throwing shade. I'm throwing shade. I played in the SCA for years. I was there for nearly a decade. And I finally got an AOA because you wrote a letter. Well, when God speaks. Ha ha. You got your <laughs> AOA in what? Three, four yeah, months? Like three, four months. It was the same season that you started playing. That's true. And I'm not saying you don't deserve your AOA, because you hit the ground running, and you are this gregarious personality that is very visible and very memorable, and you are participating like crazy, so, you know, you totally yeah. deserved it. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate the that. The question there is, is, did it take me nine years to deserve an AOA? I haven't known you. I didn't know you back then, so I honestly can't say. But the truth of the matter is at that particular junction in your SCA career, career. Big air quotes on that. Yeah, that that's something that should have been handled a long time ago. Well, it didn't. And, you know... I'm sure that's that still got you feeling some kind of way. Honestly, I don't give a shit about the paper itself. I never lusted after any awards, but it was watching all the people around me be handed these and being told, oh, we're making sure everyone's got one, and then it's crickets for me. Like, that hurt on a personal level. Yeah, because it's like they forgot about you. I did so many dishes. That's fucked up. Point being... Because the uh, SCA has its awards on a meritocracy slash letter writing slash somebody decided to notice you system, there's a lot of big fucking cracks and a lot of people, you know, fucking slip and sliding down that shit. Yeah. Um, and there's really no way to fix it without, like, really messing up the system. Like, uh, I know some of the LARP societies that you've, um looked at and and played a little bit in yeah where you're actually making a D, D style character you have a character sheet and you level up by attending events by participating in things correct and there is actually somebody with a binder 
binders of people's sheets and they will take your attendance and note off that you came to this, you came to this, you participated in this tourney, you participated in this contest. You participated and, in battle games, Amp Guard, we're talking about you. Yeah, total shout out for Amp Guard for having a system in place where people get level points for participating and it's tracked. Yeah. I guess the only thing I didn't really care for with Amp Guard was magic, but you know that, that that's, that's a personal that's, that's another that's thing. another thing we'll talk about. We'll talk about our experience in Amp Guard later. Drawing tennis bars. <laughs> Point being, being, and then there's like, like you were saying, the Boy Scouts for their literal their merit badges. Yeah. I don't I don't know anything about Boy Scouts. Well, or Girl Scouts my except dad for cookies and not tying. My dad was a scoutmaster, and. He showed my brother all the criteria that was required for one to obtain merit badges. There are certain tasks that have to be completed. So there's literally a checklist. Yeah, there, there's a paper trail. Okay. Now, the thing is, with the SCA being as big as it is, and the community being more like a spider web than like, you know, an individual troop like the Boy Scouts. Yeah. You know... There, there's, there's a lot. There's gonna be a lot of, I don't know if cross contamination is the right word to use. I don't know. But uh, there's, there's going to be a, a lot of crisscross between different people in different groups, different, different fighting companies, different barons, different kings, different queens. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of eyes on you, and yet there could also be no eyes on you at all. <laughs> like me, and, my entire career. I, I. I you can't tell from how mouthy I am on these podcasts, but I'm actually a pretty shy and introverted person. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be out in the thick of it, busting elbows against people at a party. Like, I want to hang out at home and do chill things. Like, I don't want to go to big parties. I'd rather hang out with, like, a group of friends. And so, because I'm not actively pursuing getting attention... I just kind of exist in the background. I'm just another white chick hanging out in the background. And sometimes being invisible like that is a superpower. You know, speaking of the hunger for attention. Oh my god, you can see it in people's eyes it, sometimes. It gets bad sometimes. Yeah, because people who want to advance in the SCA understand that that's only going to happen if they get noticed it's like everyone's chasing after somebody with a pointy saying recognize me senpai <laughs> and it, it i don't want to like trash on anybody that's trying no. to, to progress because good on them for putting the work in but it's like if you are a gregarious person that is memorable and recognizable like like you stelios you could be working your buns off and no one's gonna care and that's sad to me. I mean, people people do all sorts of things that make the SCA run, and it's a lot of the gross stuff. Yeah. It's staying in camp and doing the dishes. It's yeah. leaving court early to make sure that there's food on the table. Yeah. It's the cleanup after the feast, the prep before the feast, um, carton water bottles and plates of pickle slices onto the war fields tell you how two degree sunburns on your back and ride back with blisters like can can i take a minute to tell the water bears specifically how much we love and appreciate each and every one of you because while we are out here fighting and killing and pretending to die if it was not for you we would be like dead for real real and not yeah. just for play play for realsies like we'd be dead for real. Yeah. So it's a super important job, and it's a hundred percent volunteer based at this point. So water bears, we salute you. Yeah. And oh my God, anyone who's willing to go and move the freaking hay bales. Yeah. Oh, moving hay bales is awful. You know what's worse than stacking hay bales though? Parking duty. No, no, no. Parking Set, duty's pretty setting awful. Setting up the Stromgar Castle. <laughs> <laughs> I love that castle, but fuck that castle. The one where they have to, like, unbolt things. Yeah. You know, and the thing is, you've got lots and lots of people who do this kind of stuff, and they do it with a smile on their face. And I think they end up slipping through the cracks because a lot of people make the assumption that this person has already had their good deeds recognized, and that might not be the case. Yeah, maybe. 
So the way we fix that, you know, we can't do a hard fix and change the system. That'll just break every day. Yeah. But what you can do as an individual is to keep your eyes open. Yeah. And look outside your social circle and your immediate surroundings and look in the corners for the people who deserve to be recognized. Don't assume that somebody's been recognized. And gosh darn it, if they've been recognized and they're still doing the work, maybe they deserve to be recognized again. Yeah. Don't assume that they have one. Don't assume that someone else will write that letter. Letter writing to the king and queen is easy. easy. It's so easy. It's an email. Like, I've written the king and queen letters, and I'm lazy as fuck about that stuff. So, yeah, it can be done. And, you know, I think if we could just be a little bit more considerate and a little bit more observant of other people, you know, it would it would do a great job of making everyone feel not only included, but recognized for their work because a lot of people put in a lot of work into this so if you see something say something work from the mindset that if you don't write that recommendation letter that it's straight up not going to happen yeah you know don't don't assume it's someone else's responsibility assume that it's your responsibility just a generic mindset to like move forward and be mindful of what other people are doing. Yeah. It's, and, it's a simple solution and all it means is everyone who wants this particular issue to change to just put into that. I mean, it's not hard. You know, this is what we call being the change you want to see. Be the change you want to see. So, once again, if you see something... Damn it, say something.